Hey guys, it's Giggity Gaming coming back with another episode of Pokemon Duel and in today's video uh, we're going to go over some leaks and stuff and then uh, I have a new uh, addition to my grass deck. Well, not really new, but you see by the thumbnail you're right now. But um, real quick, Iceman texted me saying uh, hype, uh, hype next month is going to be awesome. And he sends me a bunch of these different leaks. There's a Mega Gardevoir. Gardevoir? That's how it's pronounced. Mega Metagross. Mega Banat, Chikorita of uh, Meganium is finally coming out. We're gonna get Kabutops. We're gonna get Mega Apsol. And that's just the yeah, that's just a bunch of new figures coming to the game. I'm I'm gonna guess. Obviously, all the Megas are gonna be UX. And then Meganium is gonna be an EX, and then Kabutops. I'm probably I think they're gonna do him dirty and he's gonna be a rare. Um, I just want to quickly go over all the, um, I think they're, I think, um, I think Meganium could be good. I don't think Kabutops will be good. I'm not sure about Mega Banat. Meta, Mega Metagross better be good. And Mega Gordovar is going to have some crazy ability, I think. But I just wanted to go over that real quick, but, uh, do I have Duel up? I do not have Duel up. Let me go get Duel up and, uh, we'll get into the video for today. All right. We are back in duel now. Ooh. And if you guys didn't guess by the thumbnail, Torterra is the new is my gonna be my new secret weapon for my grass deck. I'm gonna be starting to run a grass deck. Um, just because I think it counters most of the stuff, and I think it goes neck and neck with Dragon. So either way, I think they're both gonna be good decks. I think those are the two most meta decks at the moment. There we go. Um, but, but but today's video we're going over Torterra. Seriously, seriously. Okay. And the ma main reason why I wanted to put him in there was a he's got big blue, which makes him good. He's got the, the bit, actually the main reason is Cornerstone. And then if I have all my all my figures on the field, I get plus 60. So he's hitting for a minimum of 160. MWD. Okay. Let's do this. And basically, if I could try to get Torterra out as quick as possible with his cornerstone, I think that's going to be the best option. We'll see. Actually, no, no, no. We want to get we want to get uh. Larantis and stuff out first. We want to be able to get a defense going and then go after him. I think that's a good option. He's only hitting for plus 10 right now, but I can get other mons out on the field because of him now. Unless, of course, Gengar goes mega and then tries to take out everything. Which he does not. Let's go to this. He's probably going to try to go Mega. And that could be really, really bad. He didn't go. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, we have long throw. I forgot I had long throw. Cause I haven't run long throw in a while. Okay. Okay. I like this now. Yeah, yeah. You're not getting me knocked out. Not a chance, there, buddy. Now we're throwing the surround kill. So I don't think he goes mega here. I don't think he does. And I was wrong. Who do you go after, though? I don't... Okay, yeah, that, that I could see. Still gonna knock him out. Let's go. Um, I mean, he gets my... One of my Lorantis now, but that's not a big deal. Oh, my bad. He hits for plus 90 when all my Lorantis and everything is on the field. So, he's gonna be hitting for 190 and 210. That's another reason why I wanted to use it. Probably should attack him with Lorantis instead, that's why. Should have seen that one coming. Well, 
But now that with the cornerstone, we can get out anything we need to. Aggeronite. Oh boy. Get that for right now. Honestly, the 140 is going to out. Okay, hold on. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Let's get it. Melee, melee, melee. Of course. Yeah, I can't land an attack. Oh no, he can't land an attack. But whatever. I'll 100% take that. I am not jumping over him because I'm not stupid. There we go. And then maybe we get one of them to land miss? No. Okay. That's fine. I get one of my Lorantis back. So I can bring him out. I can max. I don't have max survive. I have Sceptile. That's what I got. But I think this team could definitely be successful. Let's see if we could just quickly knock you out. Yep. And your blaster's gonna let miss. Nope. Okay. I can see a mega. No mega. No mega blasters. All right. We're just gonna go after you until you. So you can't bring up. Oh darn. That did not work. He should go Mega, but... Okay, you're not gonna go Mega? I'm gonna attack you so you can't go Mega. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll just bring up Sceptile here. I probably wanna go after that Decidueye. Well, let's back up for a minute. Probably don't want to go after him then. What do you have for plates? Okay. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I mean, might as well. That was pretty much a guaranteed knockout. So is this. MWD, it sounds familiar. Don't know where it's from now. Get it? Let's go. You can't stop me. You could try. You do not want to attack here. You do not want to attack. You want it to just be my turn. You do not want to attack. Because if you attack, you like right here or here, that's game. Alright, let's see if we can. Wow. Okay. That worked out very well. Might as well try to knock him out while we're at it. And we're not going. I think he goes mega next turn. And I'm wrong again. This guy's making a lot of questionable plays. That was lucky. Wouldn't be surprised if he moved Coco back, yeah. I still want to land a solid hit. Or we just knock him out, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. Is he not knocking him out? We land self hit. We can knock him out, that's fine as well. Sceptile is just unstoppable. Especially with plus 75, he's going to be very difficult to beat. 
Can I leave my soul kit? No, we can knock him out. That's fun. Hmm. This is actually kind of funny. Soul kit. Yay! Finally got it. Let's sit right there. Alright, that's, that's acceptable. You have gold box still, don't you? You know, not doing it. What I should have done there is one after Agron. Let's just move out this one. I'm not really concerned about his Coco. His Coco is not going to really do much. I think I go mega next turn. I still attack his uh, blast, but if I not actually if I knock out the blast, that's no, not quite GG, but well, it's very close. We're not going to knock him out, but we're still in a game threatening position because a swap spot. Oh no, I can't swap spot win. Actually, that's swap spot. Go after Zagaron. Tell me I got knocked out there. Big mistake on my part. Oh shoot, this is not good. <laughs> that just happened. I think the only difficult part of running this deck is that I'm not gonna be able to run counter attack as much. Because of Torterra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not looking too good there, buddy. Hi there, brother. Hmm. Kinda what I expected. GG boys. And we win that game. Oh, we could, yeah. I was about to say, I have a feeling Earl's in the room. What's up? Alright. I'm going to play one more. I'm going to play one more game and then call it a video for the day. And how much are we going to move up? 24 points in the monthly rankings. That's not bad. We're at 2024 now, which is, I think we're at 560 something. That's good. I'll play two league matches. What do I get? Coin. Okay. Win one room match. Material. Okay. I'll do those later. Let's head into back game of the day. Oh, sorry. I'm good. X-Clan. X-Clan represent. Let's do this, Reaper. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to long throw in Sceptile. Probably not the smartest decision to just long throw first play, but we do it anyway. I mean, let's push. I doubt he doesn't see the Mega 
subtile yeah let's just cover up that and then and let's get Torterra and all them out do that Hmm. Dragon Spear. That's fair. Let's get out. Let's get out all of our our uh, help first. The only thing I'm worried about is that Mega. That could be coming out soon. I guess not. Okay. Torterra comes out in a couple of turns. Somebody tells me his Mega Rayquaza comes out this turn. Yep. I was right. We'll go attack my Lorantis. Try to knock him out. You're going to land. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was off. Nothing I could do. That sucks, because that's my max survive right there. Let's see. Let's go. Get punked. I don't think I want to go after his fracture, though. Fly? Let's go. You're just gonna fly over here, aren't you? Aren't you there, buddy? Huh? Just go after him. Okay. Be that way. I my dude. Oh, what are you gonna do now that you don't have your mega? We're gonna tie, that's fine. <laughs> You're gonna cover up your goal on oh, the entry point here. Smart play. Ooh. I got lucky. I'll go after your fracture. You're not gonna land it. There you go. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. Screw you. Yeah, yeet. At this point, I'm not even worried about his Rayquaza. There we go. Very nice. Time to move up. Go ahead, Rapaza. Oh, wait. Don't attack. Don't attack. Okay. Yeah. About that. We can't have that happening. Oh boy. Are you kidding me? Well, damn it. Here's I'm gonna count this as my as this is my best choice to make. Max revive, go after his confused um, actress. That's my best choice, I think. 
and it worked out quite nicely. Cool. And now I get all my Pokemon back. Don't have a gold box, so if he decides to go and and uh, double ch eh. yeah, I really don't want to get knocked out here, or I get knocked out here. Shoot! Damn it! Don't even get to knock anything out. Bye bye. Help me out. That was my that, that was my uh, Torterra Spotlight, I guess, video. Um, I'll be using him in future videos because I do think this team can be good if I get you know good spins. Um, but that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure you like, uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Kickspawn.